here back again with a new video and in this video I'll be showing you how to use the package URL launcher so basically we are going to use this URL launcher in this video and there are three videos on my channel you can also find the links in the description if you want to see a particular video so without any further ado let's get started so in this video basically we are just concentrating on how to launch a URL with a button tap into the browser okay so let's begin by going to the package which is the URL launcher and installing process is quite simple you just need to copy this load in your dependencies in the pub spec yaml and once you load it click on pubget click on pubget and then and then what you need to do is you need to go here on the documentation import this import statement into your project and once that is done well you can just head back to this to your app and in here what we find is this is just basically a void main which runs my app and my app is just a stateless widget which is going to return material app in which there is a scaffold and, and in the body of the scaffold it's going to return a stateful widget let's type out a stateful widget let's say it main app okay like that and let's return a main app okay that's simple and in this container widget we can just in the child we can put a raised button okay so we can also center this button which will look good and in here on pressed we need to add a function in this and in the child section we need to add a text widget which will say like open url and press alt ctrl l to just format these lines reformat these lines and in the on pressed section what we're going to do is go to back go back to the documentation and we are just going to copy this part of this documentation code go back to our project and in here we can paste it just like that okay so it's showing some sort of error and basically what it means is we just need to add a sync in this and this will solve the the error which we were getting so yeah now this setup is pretty much ready for us and we could um, basically run this and get whatever we want from this okay so the best practice is to stop the whole project and reopen it again so let's do this and once we do this if we open it again so as you can see we've got an open URL in this and if we click on this it's going to open flutter.dev in our browser we can also change this URL and we can put any URL like let's say google.com save and run okay and as you can see if we go back into our application and click on open URL now it's gonna open google.com so that's it for this video guys hope you like this video and if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome flutter videos thank you for watching goodbye